another fantastic morning on earth alive and well day two day two at the gym i'm ready to write my own ebook on fitness i ended up not falling asleep in the middle of the day which is fucking great i got up at like five now it's 6 15. we're going to the gym dog the gymnasium raise our chi level you know what i'm saying so communicate Okay, with the higher realms, you know what I mean? Raise our vibration. I just hit that button on the light like it was gonna turn off the light. Also, should just set the thing up to close with the car. All right, here we go. What's up? We've got Disney Plus, so what that means is there's an influx of hearing you recite Disney Plus songs. I know all the words. I don't even need to watch the movies. Disney Plus exists in your brain. I'm out. I'm going to get a table. Uh, uh, hey, what? you're staying here. Yo, get in the house. Oh, there's a big box on the porch. Oh, there's a couple of boxes. Yo, Omar, stop. Omar, get in the house. Right now. What the fuck? What is this man wearing? This dude's looking crazy. Oh shit. Is this for me? Yeah. This came already? Is it not sitting here right in front of your eyes? Huh? Is it not sitting here yeah, right in front of your eyes? All right, hold on. I'm going to run this up. There's though. also the stickers right there behind me. Oh, dope. Okay, hold on. You're already stressed, bro. I'm gonna leave these not in the bag because Brandy was so stressed that I would not bring this bag back. Good bag bag. Let her know what time it is. All right. All right. You better get in my car with your struggle blunt. Police activity up there. You God, see? you smell like a fucking shitty ass, half lit, gross joint right now. Why did you do this? <coughs> you did that to trigger me. There's no way that. No, I hit it outside the car so I didn't get in yeah, the car. And as with soon my as joint. you got in the car, you fucking smell like it. You smell like some granola funk, dog. I'm out here smoking No, you that don't. Fire. It smells like straight up, like, fucking resin. Oh it my wasn't God. even a resin joint. That my was a fresh shit. early like morning North joint. Carolina. My whole car smells like fucking just weed poverty. God. Good morning. Good morning, vlog. God, you got me fucked up. Why? Well, smells awful. I can't believe it followed me in. I mean, well, you you hit the joint right there. <laughs> I was trying to be you polite. You walk from there to there. I just don't understand. You you didn't have a joint when you got out here the first time. But carrying the box back upstairs, I you, needed you, that you joint. Needed that joint before that two hits of that joint that was definitely relit. Drugs and that alcohol. That was not a fresh. Dog. That was not a fresh joint. No, no. So no. you relit it. So you know for a fucking fact yeah, but that relit joints smell like shit. Like that's the whole reason. Yeah, if I brought it in the car. So my no, idea. No, even if you smoke it. Like Oh, you dirty air Wait, smell. there's a whole police activity up smell here. I want to roll up on them, see what's swag. going on. Then also, Swaggy speaking man. of alcoholism, no, no I got a great story, dude. Yesterday, I'm getting, we're headed over to storage, or no, we're headed to do the photo shoot, and Brandy, we're getting in the car, and this dude pulls up in a car, the passenger gets out and falls flat on his face. Boom! And I was like, holy shit. Oh, wait, hold on, police presence. Let's see what we got going on here. I'm trying... I don't give a fuck about smelling like weed. This shit, look, they got, they're not even doing shit. They're having like a morning meeting. They all stop to get coffee in Nixon's. Fuck these guys. This dude gets out and falls flat on his fucking face. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hey, I run up. I'm like, yo, you all right, man? And he's like, uh, and he's got like hospital bracelets on and he looks, he looks pretty fucked up. Where are we? We gotta go get a table for yeah. this grill. Where should we go? Like a stainless steel, like yeah, a, there needs to be heat is resistant. there a cooking supply place? Yeah. There's gotta be a restaurant supply, but I don't know, is that crazy? Crazy expense. I, I was thinking of this when you picked me up. I'm like, I wonder if he knows where we're going. Yeah. Let me look up I mean, restaurant I was supply. Like Home Depot and shit. We're headed to Home Depot. It's been decided. But anyway, so this guy falls flat on his fucking <laughs> face. Yep, flat on his face. And and has he, hospital bracelets on even. And the driver gets out, and I go, I go, dude, is he? Oh okay? wait, that wasn't the driver. No, 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 no. The driver gets out, and I go, dude, is he okay? And he goes. I don't know. And I go, what do you mean? You're with him. He goes, no, my wife called me and said this guy was like coming down the road all fucked up and somebody should help. And I say to the guy, I go, dude, are you okay? You need to, maybe you need to go to the hospital. He goes, I just came from there. Okay. It looks like you can't walk. Like his glasses are like smashed into his face. He's bleeding down the side of his face. He's got a bathrobe wrapped around like a t-shirt and pants that he's wearing. The bathrobe has like blood stains on it and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, dude, I can help you if you want. He's like, you live here? I'm like, yeah. He's like, will you let me in? Because this guy 
guy just like trying to get in our hallway. He hands me his key and goes, I'm apartment, you know, what I won't say the apartment number, but he's like, I'm apartment, whatever, down the hallway. Can you help me get there? And I'm like, yeah. He goes, I'm fine. I'll just scoot. And he stays on his ass and slowly moves himself. Like, and then he would stop and take breaths. And I go, dude, I think maybe you need some help. Like, maybe we should get you back to the doctors. And he goes, I was there 12 days in a bed doing nothing. They ain't doing nothing for me. I got medicine in the house. That's all I need. And I was like, all right. So I'm, I go all the way down the hall. It's on the first floor. I unlock his door and I go in. There are IPA cans on every fucking shelf level, this, this is like and that. like the ghost of Christmas future for you. Yep. And then... <laughs> And then his garbage can is filled to the brim with, you know, 99 bananas, that like fucking straight, shitty, grain liquor, banana flavored shit. It's some alcoholic shit. It costs like 50 cents for these mini jars, mini jars full, dude, full, and then a table full of them. And other than that, in his house, he has a table full of vitamins. Basically, vitamin and booze diet. I don't really understand. What kind of vitamins? He had a cat in there. It, other, other than covered in beer cans, like it looked like a normal fucking place. Well, this makes sense. So then I left him. I, I opened the door and left it open. Like I left it open a crack for him. I was like, dude, the door's unlocked. Like you're good to go. And he's like, yeah, I'll be all right. I just need to get there. I'm like, all right. The alcohol I've never seen made sense. That shit will fuck you up, dude. He looked worse than a heroin addict. That, yeah. This is in your building? In my build, yeah, which is weird too, because it means he has to sustain. Your building some... is falling apart, though. No, my building is the fucking worst. I I write the landlords once a day. They fucking hate me. Oh yeah, you're. We, we haven't told the vlog about your secret. I took him to the board of health. To New York. If you think that was on camera, you're out of your mind. No first class upgrade for me to New York. There's only one seat and twelve people. I don't think it. they even know you're going to New York. Going to New York. Why? Do I vlog from New York? I mean, aren't you just going there to ship the drop? Yeah, I'm basically, yeah, guys. Friends and family especially. So these drops have been a little slow lately. Because I earn. Not, not because of me, because of the fucking company that prints it. I'm flying out there to avoid a whole set to save us seven days of seven waiting, days. basically. Ship it over the weekend, and it will be on its way to you guys on Monday instead of on its way to us on mm. Monday. Got weed yesterday. Oh, man. And oh, like do I vlog at home? Vlog. Do I vlog at home is the question. I don't know. Do, do I give the you tour? You never vlog when you go anywhere anyway. Dude, so that's why? not true. When I go on the road, I vlog. And when I get uh, off days, are you get drunk? well, is am I cool? ever not going to get drunk? <laughs> that's, <laughs> well. that's the real question. I'm definitely going to get drunk at home. Oh, God. <laughs> See, so now your story yesterday is not even holding up. No, socially drunk at home. Oh, not, I'm not, no. <laughs> well, I'm going to see Josh Friday, so I probably won't drink with him because we're just going to chill around his house. And we'll probably have a beer. Yeah. yeah, and then after that, I don't know what I'm really doing at home. Do I, you know, does any of that stuff matter? Is it interesting? I don't know. <laughs> The airport could be good. Who knows? When is the airport ever good? You're going to have a steak and red wine. Uh, just in. Kodak Black has been sentenced. 46 months. What was your response off camera? He's not going to be relevant anymore. But I did predict XXX before, being the next Tupac. He's, that's not a good prediction. He's not the next Tupac. Okay. So... Also predicting that 6 9 will come back out as a snitch, drop a hip-hop album, and uh, people will not a hard still... Not a hard prediction. And people will still be into it, though? Do we agree on that? Of course they that? will, because people are like, dog, you would make more money, anybody will make more money dropping something controversial in any way or poorly executed. Yeah. Like, people don't care about... Like Sonic the Hedgehog. It. Yeah, exactly. That shit was a troll, dog. For sure, a troll. That is really a good troll. Like, like whoever's behind that, it's a pretty good idea. If, if like that was all thought out like that, I had to. Yeah. There's no. I, I don't call myself a hip hop yeah, you connoisseur do. Like anymore. Fucking, yeah, you I do. used You're to. You're fucking like hip hop dad. I used no. to. No. Got a stainless steel countertop. We had to go to a restaurant supply place. Chinese restaurant supply. Yeah. Did you know who put first? Yep. Does that really take you? No, we didn't ask anybody. We just went. We're men. I try to ask. He tried to ask. I don't do that shit. Fucking hey, another of these bands. <laughs> bands, so oh, we're about 30 seconds away from throwing the grill on this bad boy. Oh shit. I'm right over there. He does that like he can't pick it up. I don't understand the, the starburst. Man, yeah, you definitely look like a fucking starburst. Out here, starbursting it up. Okay. Oh, this is this is gonna be. Make sure you make it do it right now. 
That's about, sounds about correct for you. Are you supposed to do this in a different order? No. Well, that's a good idea. There you go, a little extra leverage. Yeah. Distance at least 24 inches, sir. Is that what it says? Yeah. Yeah, this is at least 24 inches. Why would you not just put it off to the side? Why would you throw it all the way over there? Keep the distance. So that the dogs run through it and pull it apart? Did you just ask me if there's batteries? I didn't know if Where were power. the batteries? Sometimes there's electric and gas mixed, okay? I, I don't know. I'm Those are the igniters. I think you just turn on the gas, turn this to the here. And then ignite? Boom, boom, and then ignite. <sighs> All right, well, let's take the book off the top and let's do it. Anything else inside that's plastic or that needs to come out before we fucking no, flame well, this the meat meter Can't imagine that it sits in here for an hour. No, it does. it's sitting out for an hour, so it becomes oh. room temperature. Like, all steak should sit out for at least half an hour. I think this is just hot enough that two, three minutes per side, I mean, it's The just, rest will just cook through, yeah. and then you just let it sit out. Yeah, I mean, you can use them together. Like, if we use both, we could definitely cook that in there for a second. But I'm afraid that we do that, we put it in here, then the steak is gonna get overcooked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we don't know how to use this shit. But so this isn't gonna be an hour process. Well, so sitting it will be. Sit yeah. Don't turn it on yet. I'm putting the camera right here, and it's on. The camera's on. Put the plate in here. Yep, there it is. Good practice run. There you go. It's open. And hold the, yep. You gotta hold the, keep that down, hold that and keep the black one down for four seconds. Oh, it's on? There it is. It's getting lit, it's turning on the All right, let's turn this all back off. Well, why? I just wanna make sure, we turn give it a it minute on. to breathe. That's fine, we'll use that a burner. All right. Oh yeah. Those yeah, I mean, it's it is really hard to tell, but I think it is. Yeah, you can see little flame, and and that both sides are getting blazing hot. So now, <laughs> now we just let it heat. Oh yeah, <laughs> you can see the fucking heat coming off of it. It's a nice stainless steel table. Look at this setup to put the fucking meat on the grill. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, dog. This is the moment we've been waiting for. I think I can put the plate on top of this. Uh, I wouldn't. I want it. It says hot surface, do not touch. It'll probably crack that plate. There you go, just finger fuck that thing. Throw it right in there. There we go. Slap that meat on there. Omar, out of here, buddy. I know you smell what the meat is cooking. Woo! Look at this, and we're in, Omar, folks. Omi beat it. Should I go get another plate? Yeah, go get another plate and a spatula. We got a minute, bud. Damn, the side's about to get decimated. Dog, this is legit. Cook, boy, cook, baby. Oh my god, that smells so good. It <laughs> smells just like the fucking Yakinikus. Wow, two minute steaks? You better take those bad boys down. Nah, dog, I know what I'm doing. All right. Famous last words. Son. Look at them fucking things, dog. We can just put them on top of each other for now, right? All right, so you gotta take them inside and cover them. Two minutes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a minute on each side. So wait, is it medium rare inside then? I don't know yet, but it should be. That's what the plan is. Damn. This is all you need, dog. Open a steak restaurant. It's in the house? Yeah, right out the house. It's cutting like butter. Like that. Damn. Damn, dog. Well, that's a wrap, folks. It looks pretty fucking good. We're gonna taste it in a minute. And uh, you got to taste it for the on the wall. Market. No, that's what I mean. I mean, like, it's it's coming up right now after these words from our sponsors. There you go, meat mouth. Holy shit, incredible! I think it could be a little crispier, a little crispier, and then a little less time sitting, and you're good to go. I only have time sitting, I think, just Higher. closer to the heat for a little longer. Yeah, it's good though. But the fact that this is from two minutes of high heat is, is crazy, it almost doesn't make sense. I just walk out there, and I want a steak, like. Yeah. All right, I gotta put the camera down and crush this shit. All right, earned, dined, and dashed, but holy shit, that steak's amazing. That was my first try, so I definitely didn't get it perfect on the crust. You best believe in the next couple of days, a week, I'm gonna have that thing perfected. It's gonna be so sick. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited about the steak machine. You know what I'm saying? Because we have the rest of the afternoon free to draw. So I'll probably just do that. Maybe make some more meat later, I don't know. But for right now, all right. Been drawing a couple hours, nothing really substantial. Just doodling. Listen to the RZA on Joe Rogan. Steak experiment continued. We have a piece of top sirloin cap right here. It's a big old piece of meat. 
gigantic. Uh, I think I'm gonna cook that in here. Uh, this, I don't know how to say it, sous vide style, whatever style. And then take it outside, the super flame grill. So, let's calibrate the thickness on the cinder. Cause I don't know, you know? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know which one's better. Everybody's gonna ask me which one's better. Are they worth it? I mean, that steak thing out there is insane. It's expensive. All right, let's start this up. I think we go rare. Here we go. Little thin boys for breakfast. Let's go get this fixed by Apple so I don't get charged for it. Verizon actually came through for once. They're not charging me for it, but I do have to take the time to go get it fixed. Looking three minutes later, got steaks on. Hell yeah, I'm about to make some eggs now. Just taking egg and breakfast, son. He didn't do anything. Really? He's just looking at it? Yeah, just hit him in the face and he just <laughs> looks at it. Ugh. Ugh. So today kind of got shot. We had planned on going to do something like a date day or some shit. And then we didn't go anywhere. <laughs> we went on a walk with the dogs. <laughs> oh, it was a miss. Come over here, get around and start. <laughs> Come on, I'm too excited. Yeah. I just got my body is in pain now. My body is not feeling great but it'll, it'll pass. But today I shut down at around, uh, I think it was closer to two o'clock, but damn, if it may have not been earlier. Um, which means I'll be drawing all night, possibly editing this, but probably will be drawing for most of the night. One thing that people always ask about is how I come up with designs and what inspires me how to start a clothing company in some way, which is based, the answer to that is just start. You're not gonna do your most perfect shit off the top. My method of coming up with designs is a complete media dump, you know? So I think the reason I like to travel and go to places like Japan and places that I like visually is to absorb, get new ideas, uh, which is, you know, ex probably explains the teddy bear scenarios. Absorb as much as I possibly can. Catch, catch all the fucking vibe. Try not to worry too much in the moment about creating, you know, it's really hard because when you're inspired when you want to create. The note list in my phone is ridiculous. You know, I take a lot of notes. Something that I never did when I was young. Two things I never did when I was younger that I regret not doing. Taking notes of good ideas when they come, saving my work even though I hate it. Because I used to be like notorious for ripping up work, just leaving the shit. I have friends who have buckets full of old drawings. I probably should have saved them, but you know, life's, life's wild. What I do after a long absorption period is there's just a dump period where I just, I don't really, don't really have any kind of idea, oh, so we can hold the world. Like, I don't really have any idea or direction of where I'm going. I'm not even really necessarily working on ideas for the brand. Or, uh, I, like this. I just gotta dump it all out and then sort of sift through it later, which is really annoying because there's just stacks and what seems like stacks of endless drawings and while you're drawing, there's really like this ball playing basketball. There's really like no satisfaction from it kind of feels, it may even feel like you're wasting your time. It feels very unrewarding a lot, because like, even though their like, drawings are okay. Oh, this guy, crazy. Even though the drawings are, I really like this guy. Even though the drawings are good, they're okay, some of them aren't completed, it doesn't really get you to a point where you're, this is Calvin pissing on the shoebox. God damn, it doesn't get you to a point where you feel like you're moving towards completion, you know? And for me, every two weeks or so, I drop clothing to keep consistent, make sure we're in the game consistently. So it's coming up with good ideas and concepts and making sure that you're doing stuff that you want to do and not just like producing shit. You know, it's really easy for a clothing brand just to print a one color logo and that'd be like the only thing. And they like change the color, that's it. And it's not really what I want to do. I like dropping this kind of filtered version of all of the things that I've drawn that mold or whatever. So but this is like, I mean, this is a crazy stack of drawings for just a couple of days. Look at this rabbit riding a skateboard with a carrot. 
and, there, and I don't even know what will come out of this. Like, I don't know what, if any, um, I don't know what theme or design I'll pick. There's a lot of dragons scattered in just because people, people always ask why I like dragons. First off, I have to draw 10,000 before I die. So, that's just the way it is. So, I, I have to just keep doing them. You know what I mean? I mean, 10,000 dragons at least before we leave the earth. It's a big deal. My little rant on staying motivated, I don't know if it helped, but really all it is is just not really expecting him to come out with any kind of work, you know? You're just kind of building towards something every day. Some days you have to really, really draw, draw, and draw, and draw, and get shit out. So you can look at it later and see what it is. Same thing with music. When you make music, it's rarely ever completed in a day. If it is, it's probably not as good. And it, well, maybe it has an energy, but it's probably, you know, probably could be improved upon. As most things could. My new thing is to put all the drawings I do in one place, like a box or a bucket, and then I can just go through the on a day where I'm not feeling that inspired to draw. You know, because some days you have a lull, and it's good to have almost completed drawings or ideas sort of worked out. Not if you have those days of crushing depression where you're like, I can't draw anything. I have nothing to work on. Everything sucks. Ugh. Those days are whack. So yeah, how to get out of the rut, I would say is to just keep drawing. Stop having all these expectations. If you have a deadline, then you have to just decide on what it is you're gonna do and do it the best you can. Get ahead of your deadlines is really the answer to that question. If you're producing art, you shouldn't have a deadline. But that's not the world we live in all the time. So get ahead, be in control of the art because then you don't want to be putting out stuff you don't like. So I have learned that lesson many times in life. And that's my rant today, that's all I got. Cause there's definitely no shoes coming in. People are asking me just left and right about shoes still, and I get it. Uh, shoes are great when there's not a bunch of bullshit going around it, I guess. But like, shoes right now, or the last, this last year, everybody's gonna have a top five list soon. In my opinion, there's not five shoes worth really talking about for the year. You know, everyone's gonna go with the Travis Scotts, which that's like a marketing campaign. You know, if you wanna set aside like how easily fooled the sneaker community was yes travis scott one is the number one number one foolish <laughs> just a version of a nike same nike we've gotten for 30 years it's the same shit i get it it's like the flag to fly under for the year because it's what everybody was doing and some people will say like oh i'm so anti-mainstream but no really there's nothing special about that shoe or any other shoe that has really come out and in my opinion, I've tried many brands this year, two at least. The Free Hiker is the only shoe that's really super comfortable, where I'm like, oh my god, this shoe's amazing. So the Free Hiker is the only shoe I would talk about this year. I would say the Solar Glide. Someone on Twitter pointed out that came out last year. But yeah, it's probably just down to um, the free hiker for me i don't i'm not getting behind the whole artificial hypeness i mean i could bust into the travis scott shit for hours you know what i'm saying like travis scott's best music was made so long ago i don't vibe with the new shit as much it just seems like it represents a turning point you know what i mean i don't know it doesn't seem like we still get the travis scott that we used to get where now it seems like a very polished marketed version also i don't care it's travis scott's life do whatever you want i don't i just when people present artwork and then I have an opinion and then people keep asking me my opinion, eventually it's going to come out, you know? Eventually we're going to get an opinion. It's like you scrolling through Twitter, seeing all this stuff, seeing all this stuff, seeing all this stuff, and then eventually you fucking tweet something out like, fuck this fucking chicken sandwich because you've now seen the chicken sandwich all day. You know, again, I'm like a baby strapped to a machine. People ask me for my feedback. Eventually I got to give it. No, no hate. Same thing with Kanye West. It's no hate to Kanye West and what his personal beliefs are. That's totally fine. Still appreciate Kanye for what he's done in the shoe game. Don't think I'm gonna get the aliens because I don't like this colorway. Uh, I'm also not really super sure about spending money with Adidas, to be honest. Um, and we'll see how that goes. We'll see if that changes. Hopefully it changes. It would be nice to like be cool. <laughs> friendly. I don't like this white alien colorway. I don't like the marketing behind it because I'm just the whole push and pull met cat and mouse catch me if you can shit is just I'm over it. Like that's one of the main things about sneaker culture that is idiotic especially for a white and grayish colorway. Especially just to be the first person on Instagram, YouTube, no shade to whoever is first on YouTube just saying like I'm not I'm not joining that race. You know I can get them no problem just don't care. I bet they're comfortable. I said it on Twitter. I've kept consistent. I've kept consistent with what I've been saying about the shoe. But anyway, I can't think of anything else on my radar that's like popped up. I still want these, I don't even know how to say the name of the company. Lenin, the Chinese company. I really want those. Uh, they don't make them in my size. I've reached out to the company just to try to like work. 
because I'm just like, yo, shoot him a shot. Uh, they haven't hit me back. We'll see. There may be plans in the future just to make a shoe. It's like a conflicting thing, you know? I want to make a shoe, but I don't want to make a shoe and have it be like subpar or just like not something that I wear every day, you know? I don't want to make a shoe just to sell a shoe. Same with the same thing with the hats. All the things that I haven't put out because I can't find or source the correct resources. I've just been cooking my meat on my grill, my auto grill, which is amazing. I'm trying to get healthier because I can feel myself being super sluggish. Pan was amazing and I got to enjoy myself uh, way too much probably. So uh, I'm just trying to like get back in a groove or actually I'm making a new groove. Getting up early, gym, which I've missed since I was younger. I realized that I've shelved going to the gym for many reasons in my life, but I do in fact when I make the time to go can get there and not be in a rush and just go work out. It really is amazing and it makes me feel great all day. Very thankful for the fact that I do get to make art for a living. Uh, I feel like I finally arrived where I wanna be, uh, where I can make art and pace my life in a way that doesn't stress me out. I really do miss <laughs> tattooing uh, and have people that wanna get tattooed. So I am gonna figure out, start after the, after the holidays, I'll figure out where and what is gonna happen with all that. We're not gonna stay in Denver, so I really don't know what to do as far as, you know, I don't wanna like make any solid plans in Denver. Probably thinking about moving closer towards Evergreen area here. That's the idea right now. I don't really, as you guys can see, I'm not really good at making plans. Things just happen and I activate. So that's, um, that's what we're gonna do. Not going out to eat and eat a bunch of bullshit. Join my flame grill steak machine, cause it's fucking amazing. I know that thing's expensive. I'm telling you, if you pay $60 for a steak when you go out to eat, 40 to $60 for a steak, that's it. You're paying three times the amount of the meat. Let's say it's $20 steak for a fucking ridiculous piece of meat, 20 bucks. And you have that thing, it'll pay for itself in like a year or two. Now I know you don't get the ambiance of a fucking restaurant, but I need you to just to just refer back to the scene in the Matrix, fake steak. It's, you, you know, you're paying for an illusion. That's what I've learned by traveling. You're paying for a lot of illusions. Now, if you want to you choose that illusion, that's fine, I'm not knocking it. I choose illusions all the time. The restaurant thing is like such a fucking Russian roulette gamble these days. And if I can make a better steak at home and nine times out of 10, I order a steak when I go out. We're just doing mathematics at this point, y'all. It's just the way it is. I need that thing, you know? And how many shoes have I sold? I've justified this purchase many times, obviously, to myself. But it is amazing, I'm telling you. I know it's really expensive, but you can get like a coupon for like 300 bucks off. It's really amazing. Uh, coupon is not for me, and they have not sponsored me, so I don't know. Sean, ba the Sean Baker guy, he has it on his, his Instagram, I believe. That's pretty much it. There's the public drop coming. Earn is shipping friends and family. You guys are all caught up. Friends and family, there's a new little book coming pretty soon. We just wanted to get catch, catched up. We just wanted to get caught up. There's obviously a lot of stuff coming in the future. Public Kentaro print and the Kentaro drop for adults and kids is coming soon. It's on the website, on the right, website right now, coming soon, as well as gift cards. That's it. We'll see if we hear from Ern. I bet you we, I bet you we don't. Should call him right now and see what kind of vlog footage he's got. Yeah, what up? What up? How's New York? Oh, good. I'm in Shelly right now. Oh, you haven't even made it to New York yet? Oh, I was yeah. just calling you for the vlog because I was waiting for this airport footage. I was wondering why I hadn't heard from you. Uh, I yeah, figured I there was an epic day, <laughs> epic day of travel. No, it actually wasn't. That mm. interesting, I, I gotta tell you. Damn, dog. You know, Currency makes fucking whole albums about flying to New York. You know what I mean? You're over here. I don't know. Sounds like Fuck. something. Sounds like something you'd rap about. Fuck. No, uh, I didn't do anything. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Right. There may be some exciting Kingston footage <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow, then. All right. All right. All right. Peace. Peace.